Ever wondered why 9 out of 10 startups fail? It's a startling statistic, isn't it? This failure rate isn't just a number but a reflection of dreams unfulfilled, opportunities missed and hard work gone in vain. The world of startups is a battlefield, a paradox of thrilling possibilities and unrelenting challenges. Yet understanding the frequent stumbling blocks can transform these odds. So what are these pitfalls that cause most startups to stumble and fall? Buckle up as we delve into the reasons behind these failures. As we navigate through the startup battlefield, let's identify the key landmines that often lead to a startup's downfall. Here we will discuss four primary reasons behind the high failure rate of startups. 1. Misreading market needs. When a startup fails to understand what the market truly needs or wants, it runs the risk of creating a product or service that doesn't resonate with potential customers. 1. Lack of business model. A startup without a solid business model is like a ship sailing without a compass. It's only a matter of time before it loses its course. 1. Poor management team. A startup is only as strong as its management team. A team that lacks the necessary experience, skills, or cohesion can lead to a startup's downfall. 1. Running out of cash. Cash is the lifeblood of any startup. Without proper financial management and funding, a startup can quickly run out of cash and cease to exist. So with these potential pitfalls in mind, let's delve deeper into each of these reasons, starting with the misreading of market needs. Our first study case is Juchero, the $400 juicer that couldn't squeeze out success. We've heard them all, from the most innovative tech startups to the most bizarre product ideas, but Juchero stands out for its uniquely misplaced ambition. They launched a high-end juicer with the intent of revolutionizing the way we consume fresh juice. Sounds great, right? But here's the catch. The market didn't need a $400 juicer. This is not to say that Juicero's product was flawed, in fact it worked quite well. The problem was that they misunderstood what the market needed. Did consumers want a better way to juice? Sure, were they willing to pay $400 for it? Not so much. This misreading of market needs led to their downfall and serves as a stark reminder for all entrepreneurs. A clear understanding of market needs could have saved Juicero from a sour end. Remember Quibi? the short-form streaming platform that had a short-lived existence. Quibi's story is one that many aspiring entrepreneurs should take note of. Despite raising over a billion dollars in funding and having Hollywood A-listers on board, Quibi collapsed within six months of its launch. Why? One key reason was the lack of a clear, sustainable business model. They bet on a concept, short, bite-sized videos for on-the-go consumption, but struggled to monetize it effectively. Having a viable business model isn't just about making money, it's about creating value in a sustainable way. It's about understanding how your product fits into the market and how you can generate revenue over the long term. Without a well-thought-out business model, even the most innovative products can struggle. Quibi, despite its star power and hefty funding, is a stark reminder of this fact. Without a solid business model, even the brightest ideas may dim. Take the fall of Theranos, for instance, a tale of deception and poor leadership. This once promising startup promised to revolutionize the healthcare industry with a device that could perform multiple tests with a single drop of blood. But the mirage crumbled, exposing a harsh reality of deceit, mismanagement, and a blatant disregard for honest corporate conduct. The founder, Elizabeth Holmes, and her second-in-command, Ramesh Sunny Balwani, were charged with massive fraud reflecting a management team that lacked integrity and competence. The duo not only misled investors but also endangered public health, demonstrating a shocking lack of ethical leadership. This harrowing tale of Theranos underscores the importance of a competent and honest management team. A startup isn't just about a groundbreaking idea or a unique product, it's equally about the people who run it. Leadership that values transparency, accountability, and ethical conduct can steer a startup toward success, even in the face of challenges. Theranos' fall from grace underlines the significance of good leadership in a startup's journey. Money makes the world go round and the lack of it brought Pets.com down. QPets.com, an ambitious startup that aimed to sell pet supplies online. Their story is a classic case of financial mismanagement that led to a swift and brutal downfall. Despite raising a substantial amount of venture capital and even going public, they were unable to turn a profit. Their aggressive marketing strategy, which included an unforgettable sock puppet mascot, was expensive. The cost of goods sold, shipping, and returns ate up their cash reserves. 
At the heart of their failure was a gross misunderstanding of cash flow. They were selling products at a loss, with the hope that volume would eventually cover their costs. However, the sales didn't materialize as expected, and they ran out of cash fast. The Pets.com saga underlines the importance of cash flow management and having a sound financial strategy in place. Remember, in the world of startups, cash is not just important, it's vital. Pets.com, quote, S downfall is a stark reminder that cash is king. So what can we learn from these failed startups? These stories underline the importance of understanding your market, creating a sustainable business model, building a competent management team, and managing cash flow effectively. These aren't just business buzzwords, but vital elements that can make or break your startup. They are the pillars that support your entrepreneurial dream. Remember, failure is a part of the startup journey, but learning from others' mistakes can set you on a path to success. Follow us for more content for entrepreneurs.